In this video, we're going to talk about what every parent or caregiver should be doing with their 5 to 12 week old baby. Today, we are going to talk all about how you can enhance your 5 to 12 week old baby's development and activities you should be doing with them. Hey, it's Morgan. Welcome to the Passable Parent Channel. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years specializing in early childhood development and I'm also a mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much, I appreciate your support. And make sure to comment down below if you are a first time mom, parent, or caregiver, or if this is a second or third child. I love to hear from all of you. And if you have any questions, I try to make sure I answer all of them. So feel free to comment any questions down below too. Your five to 12 week old baby can see best in high contrast. Will clench fists and grip your finger. May start to coo, usually around two months old, and in response to your voice. Can start to smile at you. Can start tracking moving objects, usually after five weeks old. Can lift their chin up during tummy time, and towards 12 weeks old, may even begin to lift their chest up during tummy time. Your baby might start looking at their hands around eight weeks old. Your baby loves being held and gently rocked. Your baby smiles and loves being smiled at, usually around six weeks old. Your baby still loves those high contrast black and white images, but may want to look at more complex patterns and shapes. Your baby loves face-to-face -face time with you and enjoys staring and studying faces intently. To help enhance your five to 12 week old's development, your baby needs skin-to-skin -skin contact. This calms and relaxes you and your baby. It regulates your baby's temperature, heart rate, and breathing. Stimulates your baby's digestion, reduces crying, and makes your baby feel safe and secure. This skin to skin also counts towards getting your baby to strengthen their head and neck muscles. It also increases bonding and decreases the chances of postpartum depression. The second thing your baby needs is floor time. Supervised time on the floor, unrestricted, without a swing, stroller, or seat, helps them to build important muscles they need to eventually learn how to crawl, stand, and walk. It all builds on itself. Floor time enhances your baby's brain development as they explore their bodies. From five to 12 weeks old, you also, during this floor time, wanna be helping your baby practice rolling from their side to their back. You wanna help them do this very gently. The third thing you should be doing is tummy time. This tummy time builds the muscles and coordination for rolling, crawling, reaching, and playing. Towards the end of the five to 12 weeks age range, your baby can lift their chin up during tummy time and may also be able to lift their chest. Tummy time is one of the most important things you could be doing with your five to 12 week old and is an amazing gift that you're giving them. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends starting tummy time for a full term infant in the first week of life even as soon as the first day home from the hospital. By five to 12 weeks, your baby should be able to tolerate longer periods of time depending on when you started. It is never too late to start. The best time to start was yesterday and the second best time is today. Success is defined as one to three minutes of tummy time that gradually increases even by just seconds at a time for about five to six times a day or more at this age. For more tips and step-by-step -step how to's, please make sure you have subscribed to my channel and check out my other videos on tummy time. The fourth thing is introducing more complex, high contrast images and toys. At five to 12 weeks, your baby still does most of their learning through their eyes. High contrast images enhance your baby's development through visual stimulation and increasing their cognitive development. Eight to 12 inches from baby's face is where you want to be holding or placing these objects. Your baby might have a preference for looking to one side. You can first show the images on the preferred side and then gently reposition them and show them the images on the other side to make sure you're still stretching and strengthening their neck muscles on both sides. At five to 12 weeks, your baby is better able to track objects. You can have a high contrast card or toy and slowly move it back and forth horizontally eight to 12 inches from their face. This helps their development and later leads to reading, writing, and hand-eye coordination. 
The fifth thing you want to be doing is lots of singing and talking and reading to your baby. Research shows there is a direct link between a child's intelligence and how many words were spoken to them as a baby. This includes singing to your baby and reading books to them. So what are some ways to talk to someone who can't talk back yet? Try house tours, which is simply just walking around your house and talking about it, pretending like you're on HGTV for your baby. Try cooking shows, which when you're cooking, make sure you're talking to your baby, have them in a safe place and narrate what you're doing in the kitchen. Try what you're doing, what you see, what your baby sees and is doing. Just having simple conversations like this. Try talking in that baby talk. Studies show that this really helps your baby learn and focus on what you're saying. Those expressively high pitched voices talking slowly helps your baby process the information being spoken to them. Studies also show that babies and infants respond more and pay more attention to this baby talk. It is more stimulating to their developing brains. The sixth thing you should be doing is time outdoors. Fresh air and sunshine have documented physical and developmental benefits for your baby. This stimulates their brains through exploring new sensations. Studies show it also improves future language skills and improves cognitive development. Make sure your baby is dressed weather appropriate and not in direct sunlight. The seventh thing you should be doing is gently help turning your baby's head from side to side. You might start to notice by five to 12 weeks that your baby has a preferred side. This can be common and is thought to be from their time in the womb. You will want to gently start repositioning them during tummy time, floor time, etc., into different positions, rotating gently so that they get time on each side in order to strengthen all of the muscles in their neck and head. This improves their coordination and builds core muscles essential for other stages in your baby's development. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. And feel free to comment down below any questions you have or topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos. I try to make sure I respond to all of your comments. Thank you so much for your time today and your support. I hope to see you next time.